welcome back to my youtube channel you know who it is guys starting to introduce myself thank you so much guys for tuning in my name is anya satu and i am going to be showing you how i dye my hair so it's not my first time dyeing my hair i've actually dyed my hair i think like two or three times by myself and i think i'm pretty confident with just how i dye my hair it's actually quite late and i don't even know why i decided to do this now I just know that sometimes I can be quite impulsive, like I can be like a little child and I just, just I can just get out of bed. That's what I did just now. Like I just got out of bed and said, okay, listen, I'm just going to record this now because I'm too excited. And the reason why I'm excited is that I'm going to be dyeing my hair. And not only am I dyeing my hair, but I'm mixing two dyes because there's a specific color that I want. And I feel like every time I use like one color I, i'm not really satisfied with the results you know so i'm going to be dyeing my hair using inecto the rich copper and the ruby red i love inecto guys inecto is the girl that she thinks she is okay like inecto has never failed me do you get inecto has always been there for me in my dark days in the days where it was rough for me inecto was there are you understanding <laughs> because i think i mentioned in my other video a while ago that um i used dark and lovely and my hair was breaking like crazy so i've been using inecto for years now i've just been happy with their dyes to be quite honest um i've never had any issues with it and it's very simple and their dyes always die do you get their dyes always die they do the things that need to be done in order to get the dye in the hair because there's another brand, I forgot the name. I think it's, okay, I can't, I can't be, I'm not gonna say it because I'm not too sure. But like there's a brand that I used and my hair didn't die. And I was like, so it's almost nine o'clock, 9 p.m. And I'm going to be dyeing my hair now. So what you'll need is basically all that is in this kit. Any, any clips that you'll have to section your hair um, or ties or, uh, bobby pins whatever you're going to use to separate your hair and then you're also going to need two containers i'm using two containers because i'm using two different dyes so that is the reason why usually what you always get in the inecto um, hair dye is that you always get an instruction pamphlet you always get gloves mixing stick um conditioner what is this again a color developer and a what's the other one again i think it's the color cream or something um, yeah, this is it. It is the hair color cream. Yes, so it's this one. What I'm gonna do is that I'm going to be mixing the dyes individually, right? So I'm going to mix the ruby red in the one container and then I'm gonna mix the rich copper in a separate container in a separate container. And then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put a little bit of the ruby red one into the rich copper one because I'm looking to get a ginger color, but I'm looking to get a ginger color that's a bit darker, but dark in a reddish tone so i'm not going to be using a lot of the ruby red i'm probably going to use about a quarter um so maybe like a 70 30 ratio or 80 20 i don't know i'll just see but i yeah i'll just see how much i feel i need to add in but i don't want too much of ruby red i just want to touch so maybe it just might be an 80 20. so i'm doing that because i need to make sure that i get the correct formulation when you're mixing one dye on its own right you always use the hair color cream and you always add this color develop this color developer to this so i just need to make sure i get the formulation right because i can't just get half of this and then half of this your it's not going to balance so i just need to make sure that i'm 100 percent correct with my formulations and the way that i mix it because i can't make a mistake with hair dyes like yeah so i'm just gonna get into that now guys i took out my braids a few days ago today's the 15th of june and i took my braids out um on the 13th of june and my hair started to lock so i lost quite a bit of hair guys and um i'm still recovering with that and i'm just going to be doing i think for the next few months i'm just going to be really looking after my hair maximum hydration minimal hairstyles finger detangling um and i'm not going to be braiding my hair i'm really not going to braid my hair like for months because i really need to look after my hair even my hairline is, is getting a bit tricky I know my hairline is always, it's, it's never been like strong. Like I've never had a hairline that like, you know, my hair like starts here. 
I've got quite a bit of baby hair. I don't know if it makes sense, but yeah, whatever. So I'm going to start with my formulation now. So what I'm going to do is add all of this into here. And I'm going to make sure that you guys can see, more especially if it's like your first time dyeing your hair or something. Okay, there's like a little pin thing here. And there's like a foil. It's, it's got like a foil covering. So I'm just going to press that. Oops. And as you can see, it's already coming out. So what I'm going to do is make sure I get all of this in. All of it. All of it. All of it. Just squeeze it out. Okay. Also, just make sure you have a bin nearby just to discard, discard, discard. You don't want anything in your way. And it's just a much need to process overall. This smells like relaxer. But okay, so I'm just gonna mix that in. Let's just mix everything together. I think it's, it's changing color now. I forgot to wear my gloves, but I'm just mixing, so I think it's fine. But yeah, anyway, I think, guys, if you if it's not your first time, just wear gloves. Listen to the teacher. Listen to the teacher, and the teacher is the pamphlet. So <laughs> we are just chucking things we are not using. Just chuck, chuck, chuck everything. This is the red copper one. So I'm gonna do the same. Just mix everything into a separate container, right? Okay, so I'm done now. Just make sure you keep track of which one is which because um, the colors, yeah, just make sure you track so that you know what you're doing. So um, I'm just gonna start sectioning my hair now. So I actually dyed my hair, I think about a, about a year ago and Oh, my hair is looking a little bit short in it shrinkage and all that so i'm gonna show you the time when i dyed my hair so because i dyed my hair from root to tip right i need to just stretch my hair so you can actually see so you can see that's how much growth i've had since i dyed my hair and i'm just gonna probably insert a picture like on this side so you can actually see um so as I stretch my hair, you can see that this is how much growth I've gotten since this picture. Um, I'm also just going to put the date so you can see. So my hair actually grew quite a bit. Um, and I've also been trimming as well. So yeah. So this yeah. So I think this is a good way to see um, if your hair has actually grown. Like I think dyeing your hair is the most accurate to see. Well, the most accurate way to see if your hair has actually grown. Now, obviously, I'm not saying... It's the only way and whatever, but it's just, I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong. Like you dye your hair and you just measure that against, you know. So yeah, this is it. And I'm quite happy, quite excited. So I'm going to be doing the same thing again. Um, dye my hair from root to tip. Okay. So there are instructions here on how to dye your hair. Um, it's, it's very, this, this pamphlet is very detailed. So if you're not too sure, like you, you can't go wrong with this. I'm going to be using this as a touch up application because part of my hair is already dyed and I don't want to leave this thing for too long. I think ordinarily you would have left the dye on for about 45 minutes, maximum 45 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. But if you've retouched your hair, then it's 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. So it can't, you can't pass 30 minutes. Unlike if you've dyed your hair before, um, you can leave it on up to 45 minutes. Okay, so let's begin. This is how the ruby red one is looking right now. And this is how the red copper is looking right now. So what I'm going to do is, because I said I don't want, my dye needs to look more red copper than ruby red. And also I feel like the ruby red is way too bold for me. So... I'm just going to take this much of the ruby red and add it into this one here, right? And then I'm just going to mix this through. I'm going to chuck this glove and the stick because this is ruby red and I need to make sure that this dye is way is consistent throughout my whole head. So. I'm going to be using another set of gloves just for this one hand and then I'm just going to start dyeing my hair now.
I've just finished putting the dye and usually I have a little bit left, but I think I actually put quite a bit, which is okay. I just hope that it's just, the dye is everywhere. But um, if you have a little bit left over, just make sure you also put some like around, like, you know, your head. Cause I think there's nothing worse than having spots, especially on your hairline where it's visible, that's not dyed, you know? <laughs> so I've just got a little bit left. So I'm just gonna like, make sure like even areas like here and just behind the ear as well i just want to see actually if i did it at the back just so i know okay <laughs> so i'm gonna take these gloves off now um it is nine o'clock so i'm going to leave this on for like 25 minutes this part is already starting to to thingy I just hope I didn't put a lot of the ruby red one here. Oh, I'm gonna be so hurt. Because I only dye my hair once a year. So if I didn't get it right this time, I'm gonna be upset. Hey, you know, whilst I was dyeing my hair, like this this part, it just came and it hit me in my eye. I literally thought I was gonna die, y'all. I literally thought I was gonna die. Honestly, I literally thought I was gonna die. Or maybe my eye was gonna turn like rich copper ruby red vibes. Yo. So anyway. I'm gonna wait now and then I'll come back once everything is, is done. Okay, so it is now 23 minutes. I'm just gonna take this thing out now. Um, I'm using the last set of uh, gloves, not set, so it's just like the one, because I remember I used the one earlier on. So let's see. It looks like it's pretty dyed already. And I, th I think this is a good color. Oh, I seriously need to get a camera. Like, I need to take a reel. Now I must take this thing out, go into Instagram. Footy, my ring lights is not even like, oh my word, it's hanging by a thread at this point. You know, the chemicals in this thing, they're strong, eh? Like you can feel it in your eyes. So this is the next day and so what I did was that I just had to um, rinse out the dye until the water was clear and then I applied the aloe conditioner that came in the packet and it feels so nice on my head so luckily I had two packets that I could use um, because I, I, yeah, I have quite a bit of hair I think so <laughs> having those two packets really helped so what I did was just apply that um, aloe protein it's a protein, I don't know if it's protein, but the aloe conditioner. And then I just had to rinse it out and then I let my hair air dry. So now I'm just going to show you. I wanted to just have my hair like this just for, I don't know, mystery's sake. And then I'm going to take it out and then show you guys how the dye is on my hair. So I'm really excited to show you this. And I hope you guys will like it because I'm actually really liking this color. So I'm going to be showing you how I look in three, two, one. I just decided to just open up the curtains a little bit because I think that you can actually see the red really nicely against a white background. Um, so this is how my hair is looking. Are you liking it? I'm loving it. Like it's literally so beautiful and I feel like it really goes with my skin tone as well. I'm just, guys, it's so crazy because it was my first time mixing dyes and just the thought of that made me extremely nervous. I was like, yo, mixing dyes, like, what is that? Like, what's that? So I'm really, I'm really, really happy. I love, love, love this hair. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Tell me if you're liking it. Tell me if you're feeling it. Tell me if you're also gonna try and mix dyes and please let me know if you do. Guys, actually, now that I'm saying this, 
please make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I'm going to leave all my details here. And if you end up doing this, then please, please, please let me know. I actually really like to know what people do with their hair when they try new things. And in this case, if you're going to be trying new dyes and mixing dyes, especially using your neck to guys, please tag me. I would love, love, love to see how you guys do um you know how it works for you and yeah so i'm going to be focusing a lot like the videos that i'm going to post after this are just my hair care maximum hydration method more particularly because i i like to dye my hair and i know people like to ask how i keep my hair moisturized because i dye my hair like once a year which for people is quite often so i'm going to be doing videos more about that how to keep your hair hydrated and moisturized and conditioned so just look out for those kind of videos and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so 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 much guys for tuning in if you end up liking this video check out my other videos like comment share subscribe guys we're on a journey to 2000 subscribers please 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 my birthday is on the 4th of october guys so that would be a great present from you to me to make sure that we reach 2000 subscribers and we can even push it to three you know what i'm saying like i, I can't say no to that now come now so yeah thank you so much guys for tuning in now i'm gonna and i'll see you in my next video ciao